time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for doing this video, making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is Wednesday and the locusts are out. It's August. So today is now Workshop Wednesday. I do a little bit of a tips and then I show you a little bit of app tutorial. Today's app tutorial will be on recipe building and stuff like that. So I have to break it down because it's way too much to show you on one video. Even this recipe builder part is a lot. And I did break it up into a few things and you'll see that coming up. But first we're going to do my top five dailies to be successful on Weight Watchers or any weight loss journey or just a health and wellness lifestyle. I, these are just, again, these are just my core tops five. You could have different ones, but these are what I came up with today. Okay, number one, get foods in, get foods out. If you have foods that bother you that are considered, you call them a kryptonite, get them out. At least in the beginning, I think in the towards, if you've been on plan long enough, you can handle it somewhat better. But in the beginning, it's a no-go. You can't have things that set you off. Could it be cake, cookies, chips, pretzels, chocolate, nuts, things that you can't stop eating. I mean, there are things that like, oh yeah, I like this, but I have control over it. Where somebody like, yeah, I don't have control over that. Get it out, get it out. Because I'm telling you, it will call you and you will be, and it's a struggle. You know, we struggle enough that we don't need to add to our struggles by having things around us that do that. So definitely get those foods out. Get the foods in, get the foods in that you need to have. Get the fresh fruits, vegetables, good grains that you need in, oatmeal, good bread, bread that you don't feel guilty about. Like if you like the light bread, get the light bread. If you like wraps, get the wraps. If you like English muffins, get the light English muffins. Get things in that you are confident in, that you don't have to struggle through. Like if you're downgraded, we all don't live alone. So we all have the others and they need their food because you know, they don't need to watch. So, or maybe they do need to watch, but they don't want to watch. You can't force somebody to be on plan. So what you do is you have a cabinet and a drawer or a container for their things. Keep their things in the back of the fridge. Keep your things in the front of the fridge. So if you don't, for me, it's out of sight, out of mind. If I don't look at it constantly, it doesn't really affect me. But if I have to sit there and push that aside to get what I need, then, oh yeah, I forgot about that. And they have to understand that. They have to understand that because you can't have things in your face, at least not in the beginning, because it's just, it's too much. Like I said, we struggle, it's hard, and we don't need that added, you know, thing. But get foods in, you know, like, we all know what the things are that, that we gravitate towards. You know, like, for me, it would be like a light bread, I love to spray butter, I love to have my yogurt in, my cottage cheese in, my light cheese, my laughing pal cheese, my string cheese, my almond milk. Though I loved almond milk way before I was ever on weight loss. I always, I just think it tastes better. It's just my opinion, you know. Or 1% milk, 1% nothing wrong with 1% milk. There isn't. I just choose, I just like almond, oat milk, cashew milk. I like the flavor. But get those things in, you know, like your your sugar substitutes that you might want to use. Now, somebody else, they might not, I don't want that, then they don't have to have it. But if you need it, you need to have it, you need to have it where it's visible. You know, put theirs in the bag, put theirs in the cabinet, tell them where it is, but you don't need to see it. Keep things out that you, like for me, I have a little basket of my bars that they're right on my thing and that's you know when i want a snack i go to that basket everybody else is just put away because i don't need to see it they know where it is it just makes life a little bit easier so yeah get foods in take foods out okay this is a big one and it's a hard one it's the water now i didn't bring the right cup out i put this out you know i went to grab it and I grabbed this this is my tea but I will use this as a prop. Imagine this is my water cup, because I do have my water cup filled. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you you need to have X amount of water a day. We all know what we should drink, we do. But what you should do is have it ready. Get a fun cup. I'm sure we all have them because we all have a million cups. Get your cup, fill it, and place it there next to you, wherever you sit, wherever you work. I'm not telling you to drink it all day. But if it's there and ready, you will take a couple of sips whenever you can. If it's not there, you won't do it. I'm gonna ask you to finish it. I have a 30 ounce container. Do I finish that every day? No, nope. but I, do I drink more because it's filled and ready there? I do. 
I take it with me when I go out, take it with you. I'm not here telling you that I drink the whole thing when I'm out, but I do gravitate towards it occasionally. And that's all you want. You just want to start building new habits and it, you can't build it unless it's there. So have it ready every day morning. You make your coffee, fill your water with your ice. If you like flavoring, put flavoring in it. You know, you want lemon, you want lime, you want, I like to use some of those little packets. You could, you know, whatever, you know, you do. Some people put like cut up fruit, they put cucumbers, but, but put it, get it, do it, sit it there. Again, you're gonna have your tea, but I have my water as well. And I do occasionally go over to the water. I wouldn't if I had to go, grab, grab a glass, fill it. No, that's way too much work. But if it's already sitting on the counter, which mine is sitting in my chair over there, I would grab it and I would drink it. So I would, I would drink it more than if I didn't have it there. So basically have it out, have it ready every day. We all make our coffee and tea, don't we? We can't start our day without coffee and tea. So this should be the same thing as when you're making your coffee and tea, you fill up your water bottle. And whatever you drink is a bonus. That's how I look at it, it's a bonus. All right. Honest tracking and measuring your food. In the beginning, you should be honest tracking. You should be weighing and measuring everything. That's a hardcore one. That is one that I don't veer from because you don't know what you're eating. And in order to be successful, you have to eat less. Well, how do we eat less and we don't know what we're eating? Or if we lie about it. I'm not putting that in my tracker. Because you're, you're ashamed of yourself and you don't want to see it. But own it and move it on. Move on. I'm not telling you not to eat it. I'm just telling you to track it. Track it. We have weeklies. Use the weekly points. That's what they're there for. They're not there to just look at. They're there to use. And we earn them through exercise. So if you're leaving the end of the week with a bunch of weekly points and you're hungry and the scale's not doing it, that's, you're, you're setting yourself up for eating less the rest of your life. And I'm not sure anybody, like, I know I don't wanna do that. And that's what that will eventually be, lead to because if you're not eating enough now, how are you gonna eat enough later when your body's just eating this? So definitely honest, be honest. This is, we're not a good and bad. It's, you know, if you wanted that bar, if you wanted that, you know, this or that cheese of cheese, put it in, be honest about it. If there's nobody sitting there going, oh, she ate that cheese. Do you believe she ate cake? Well, we're on a weight loss journey. We're not on I don't eat this anymore journey. So, yeah, you're going to have cake. You're going to have treats. You're going to have stuff. Put them in. And sometimes we have to guesstimate what they are because they're not in the, they're not in the app. You do the best you can. You give it something. Be honest. Honest, honest, honest. That's the best way. You're only lying to yourself. What are you gaining by not putting it in there? You're not getting anything. And it's like, nobody's gonna be checking your track and going, oh my gosh, look what she had. Oh my gosh, why did she do that? You know what, there's just weeks where this is gonna happen. There is. Track it, move on, measure your food. You could have anything, like when people say, you know, I have to feed my family, how do I eat? No, you shouldn't be cooking twice. If you have a family and your kids like Kraft mac and cheese, make Kraft mac and cheese for them. Look at the back of the box, see what a serving is, measure it and give yourself some. Would you rather have some or none? And granted it's hard because you're gonna feel like I'm gonna not be able to handle that. Think about, I'm having it. You have to talk to yourself. And that is a huge thing, talk to yourself. To you say, Denise, which I do so much time. Would you rather not have any? You have to learn to have less. You lived your whole life with just eating what you wanted. Well, now it's time to put up or shut up. You got it, you know. You have to train yourself that this is the portion. It's listed on the package. We did not have the portions. I can only speak for myself. I did not have the portion, but I know I could have something if I measure it. So measuring your food, weighing your food, honest tracking are key to weight loss, success and sustainability. And eventually you won't have to weigh and measure because if you're doing it enough, you know what the portion looks like. If you're weighing and measuring your food, you know what it looks. You know what that portion of mac and cheese looks like if you have it enough. You do. So I think in the beginning, you definitely it is absolutely key to do that. Number four, find a community, online or in person. If you can get to a workshop, and I know that not everybody can, but if you can, you should. They're they're invaluable. The community that that is built there is is your lifeline. 
and it's invaluable. So if you can get to a reading, I highly recommend you do. And if you can, because they don't have them, which I'm not surprised, find an online community, go to the Zooms. I know they're not perfect. I do. I know they're not perfect, but there's something. There's something. Get involved. Turn that camera on. Ask questions. Talk. Go to the same person every week because most people do. They gravitate towards the same Weight Watcher coach and you will get familiar with the names and you will see them and maybe they go to the first one to listen. But I'm telling you, get involved. Start, turn that camera on. Give an opinion. Ask a question. Start being more and more, you'll get involved. You will find solace in that. Because I said, sometimes it's all we have is the virtual. We have this with these. I have my lives. I do Sunday nights and I do them Wednesday nights, 7 p.m. here on the channel. They're invaluable. Even half the time we just chit chat about stupid stuff. But it's just, it, it's people that understand you. And it's people that get you. And people ask questions and you know, they share. And you never know what you're going to pick up there. And a lot of people, which is interesting, because I've been doing this live for like five years now, which is crazy in itself, that they know each other. They've become friends. Some realize how close they live to each other and they went and they've met in person. How phenomenal is that? You just don't know who you're going to meet. Use the Weight Watchers Connect. I will be doing a tutorial on Connect in a few weeks because it's a little precarious. I'm not going to lie. It's not the easiest, you know, platform, but it's something. Again, look at the post, comment. The more you comment, those people, the more they will know you. Same thing for me. I love for you to give me a comment down below because I get to know you. There's some people who have never commented and I'll get, oh, I've never commented before, but I've been following you for five years. You're like, oh my gosh. So please, we love interaction. We do. And it's good for the channel. It's good for, our, you know, it's good for YouTube and stuff like that. But get to know people. You know, I guess people are shy, but you have to, especially when it's all you have, you've got to use what you have. And with virtual, you don't have much to grab and get to know people, but ask questions, verbal, turn that camera on and don't say, oh my God, I look like crap. Well then brush your hair and look a little bit nicer. And then just get into it you know, and then go to the same one. And if you don't like this person, then find one that you do connect with. Cause I get the, con you know, that connecting with a person is, is important and connect with them. And if you find one you like, just go open that camera start a conversation and start this because before they start the meeting there's a little open forum where they talk they just never know and join facebook groups that you know i have one just with these crew they're fantastic you know find one that there's a lot of spam ones out there there are there are and they're just you know people just trying to i don't know why they would make a spam white watchers i really don't but they do but yeah those you kind of can see those right away but there's a lot of really really fantastic facebook groups they're all private what stays in there, nobody else on your feed can see. So find one that resonates with you. There's different ones for like, you could like Google it, Weight Watchers over 50, there's one. Weight Watchers over 60, Weight Watchers, Lifetimers. There's so many different ones. And the glory is, if you don't like it, you just leave. That's it, you just leave. You know, that's just, but it's definitely a community is key. It's people that understand you. And it's, it's just, and, you know, and, and we did a buddy system here on my on my Facebook group where people, um, we matched them up with where they live because it's hard to get a buddy when you live in New Jersey and your buddy lives in California, there's a three hour time difference. But sometimes having a buddy helps. And sometimes if you put it in the Facebook group, hey, anybody here want an accountability buddy? Because especially through Facebook, it's not like they have your personal phone number, it's Facebook. You know, you can do that through Facebook and that's always a nice thing as well. And the fifth one, is the my I feel the most important one do you know what it is be yourself be yourself don't be me don't be like well D does this I should do it no no if you pick little things that I do or little, that somebody else does it's great to try stuff absolutely but be you know who you are eat the food you like don't eat something because it's low in points eat it because you like it you know, because it's the only way you're going to have sustainability and longe longevity, 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 because you, you can't be eating something because it's zero points or it's low. You have to like it. You have to like it. That's it in a nutshell. You have to be yourself. Know who you are. Know what you want. If you're not a person that wants to join the gym, then don't. I lost weight without doing a lick of exercise. You don't have to exercise to lose weight. 
just know who you are. Know what, you, what you're capable of. And know that you can do it. You can. Does it might take you longer than somebody else, maybe. But you'll do it and know it's hard. I, that's one of the things that I wish around home. Know how hard this journey is. I don't like when people come and say, oh my gosh, this was so easy. This, oh, it's, it's not. And the people that think it's easy are the people that are probably struggling. Because you, you can sit there. I mean, it's easy in a sense that we have all these bells and whistles like the app has. And it makes it easier. Yes, it does. It makes it easier. Is it easy, an easy journey? No. But the tools that they give you do help. I would never say it's easy. Every day I struggle. Every meal I struggle. I want to eat more. I want this. I want that. But I know that, you know, in order to stay where I'm at, I, I need to watch. I need to do this. I need to do that. I'm never happy about it because, you know, but... But I think to myself, what you did before was wrong. Like, the way you ate before was wrong. Even though it was what you knew, it's all you've done, doesn't make it right. It was wrong. And I have to always know that the new life, that's why I try to be myself. That's why I make cake. You're like, oh my God, why would you make that, that carrot cake? First of all, it was low in points. It fit into my day and it was absolutely delicious. And I liked cake. You have to know who you are. Know what your strengths are, what you gravitate towards. You're not going to rebuild yourself I'm joining Weight Watchers, I'm going to be a totally different person. No, you're not. You might think you want to be, and you may sit there and you buy all the bells and whistles. I'm going, you watch all these, you know, and I love YouTube and I hate YouTube. YouTube is sometimes a facade of what, you know, the people do these things and they're like, oh, I'm going to do that too because she does it. And, and she, we don't live her life for her, we live our lives. And some people, on YouTube, don't live a, you know, this is how they live. Like some people are just like, when you watch cleaning channels, let's put that out there. There's some people that are obsessive compulsive about cleaning. They can't have anything out of place because they go literally ape shit. Like I can't have, oh my gosh, there's a ring on the table. And so they do these cleaning videos and they're like, oh my God, but they're compulsive cleaners. Like, or they're compulsive people that, and they, bring it out there like it's normal to be this way it's normal for them it might not be normal for you so you have like I said so I feel like we watch these videos and we get these ideas of that's how life's supposed to be not for us maybe for them like there you watch people that um, menu plan oh, I want to be you know more successful people menu plan that's what they always say but are you a person that is a planner I wanted to be a planner i bought all the planning books the planning tools i'm just not a planner they sit there and collect the dust i use them for a couple weeks it's not me i am not a planner and you know do i lose weight without planning yep am i successful without planning yep but you look at them and they make it look so easy and and they'll say you know if you want to be successful you really should plan you really should do that you have to be you you can't be somebody else. And I think with, with, like I said, YouTube, we see that and then we're just like, oh, that's what I have to do. Yeah, that's only, if only, like I said, I mean, can you teach an old dog new tricks? To a point, but they're still that dog and they still have those habits. We just need to tweak what we have. You know, be you, but tweak it a bit. You know, yes, I'm going to have cake. How can I make that cake later in point? It's just, you know, it's being you, honoring yourself. Because like I said, at least for me, I'm 58 years old now. Am I gonna do a total 180 be somebody else? Now, you keep thinking that because you watch the YouTube and like, well, if I just do that, I think that will work and then I'll be successful. And then, like I said, you get everything, you start and all of a sudden it's like, yeah, no. It's second nature to some people to be that way. You have to find what's second nature to you and work with that. And you will be successful. You will. There are people out there that are. So I, I feel like I said it's just YouTube has this, I think, fantasy. You know, I think and it's, and it's, you know, realize it's not reality most of the time. It's not. That are my top five to be successful on weight lodgers or any weight loss journey. I said there's so many different ones, but these are the ones that I gravitate towards at the current moment. Like I said, sometimes things change and you tweak it, but these are the core ones. I feel these are the core ones. It's always about, you know, trying to be you. And I get people like, my one thing is when people say, oh, all I do is walk. And she does all this and she joins a gym. Walking is a weight bearing exercise. There's nothing wrong with it. You don't have to join a gym. You don't have to get up at five in the morning to exercise. You just have to move. 
it's movement, any type of movement. And that's the key. You have to be you. So I'm now going to throw in the little app tutorial because I did talk way too long. Shocking. But here's the little app tutorial on recipe building and the recipe builder. All right, let's build a recipe. All right, let me go to the beginning. Go to your app. Top, tap the little person, your picture up the upper left. And then brings you that. You go scroll down to recipes. And then on the upper right, it says create. So we hit create. All right, we're going to name our recipe. This is called a carrot cake for one. Serves one. Okay, add ingredients. So I'm going to scan what I have, and then we'll add it manually. So you can search ingredients, but I have a barcode, and I have things to scan. So I hit the little scanner thing. And I scan my flour. All right, quarter cup is two points. Add ingredient, because that's exactly what I used. Next, I'm going to add our nuts, because this is the next item that I am sitting here. And we're going to, under barcode. All right, one ounce. We did not use an ounce. We used a tablespoon. So, use this food. We come over here. Now, the serving is one ounce, which is a quarter cup. So we know there are four tablespoons in a quarter cup. So we're only going to do a third of an ounce. Actually, you should do a quarter, but a quarter of an ounce, that would be one tablespoon. So that's one point. Add ingredient. And we're, we're going to add the brown sugar. Let's see if it scans at points. Add. Scan. All right, two tablespoons of, we used three tablespoons, three, and that is zero, so we add ingredient. Um, I have also have the pumpkin to scan, so, you know, I know it's zero, but we're going to scan it anyway. Scan. Once, this comes up as points. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? I thought pumpkin was zero. Interesting. So a quarter is a half a cup. So we had a quarter a cup. Hmm, that is interesting, which is, read the serving. We're gonna do half a serving of that. So let's pick this one. Use this food. We did half a serving. I gotta check on that one. It comes up a zero anyway for me. So I didn't agree. Check why that's points. So what else did we put? We put, let me check my recipe. We put, Pumpkin puree and egg. We'll add an egg in here, even because you never know. Some people might have to count eggs someday. So, egg. It comes up as too large. So we'll just grab that, skip to that, put it to one. Add ingredient: salt, baking powder, monk fruit extract, cinnamon, walnuts. Honestly, I'm not gonna put anything else in here because everything else is just spices and flavoring. So. So far, our loaf is three points because my flour was two versus three, the type that I used. Now, that's very interesting though, isn't it? I, so I, you know, I just add the nuts, which is kind of fun. I'm gonna probably add more nuts so in the frosting. So this, part, this is absolutely going to go up, but right now we are only worried about the cake part. So if you guys, if you wanted to add the baking powder, just because you want to have it in there, you can. Baking powder right there. We had about half a teaspoon. That's up to you whether you want to put all this extra stuff in. I technically don't usually. Anything that's not pointed, I don't put in. Cinnamon, I don't feel the need. Cinnamon, ground cinnamon. Oh, there it was. What up, do it. Let's put it under ground cinnamon. There we go. That was adjust with your wheel. Somebody calls this a Weight Watchers the Wheel of Fortune. So once you're done adding your ingredients, you can go down and add more details. Prep time, five minutes. <laughs> Cook time, we're hoping it's about 25 minutes. And any kind of weird instruction, you would just add it there. Any kind of description, you would add there. Any notes, you would add here. Honestly, I don't usually add any of that, but you can just for future reference. And then once you're hit done over here, they just up top, you hit the word create. 
And there's your recipe, carrot cake for one. And you hit that little pencil if you ever want to adjust it. And a little flag, make it one of your favorites. And a little middle thing, it will help you send it to somebody. You want to send it. They have to have the W app to get into it, though. Somebody told me that you don't, but you do. You do need to have the app. You can get into it. But so far, my cake is three points. But we're going to add a frosting to that cake. So that will definitely change. And we will come back and we will adjust that in the recipe. All right, back to recipe editing. So let's go to our day. Now, I'll show you how to add a recipe. Let's show you how to edit a recipe. Again, back to the little person on the upper left. And in there, it'll say recipes. So hit recipes. You see it has saved recipes. It has created by, they're created by you. Yep. Well, I'll show you how to create. Now, here are the recipes that are in the Weight Watchers app. They have ones that they think you'll like based on your searches, anything that has cheese. But do like, you see all the lists? I mean, I mean, the carousel is fantastic. I mean, there's just a million in these, you know, see all. I mean, look at that. I mean, all the summer produce recipes. All right, let's say sheep pan veggie frittata. We'll pick that. Oh, it looks amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> so you look, now you look down to where the recipe details are ingredients you have cooking spray you have zucchini you have squash grape tomatoes pepper so you don't like red uh, red bell peppers now i know that sounds really stupid because it's zero, zero points but you don't like them <laughs> you want them off the recipe nick is right recipe see the little pencil up at the top next to track recipe you hit that and then in there you're, you're in the edit you go down to those red bell peppers and you swipe and you can remove and then, because they're not there anymore. Again, it doesn't affect your points. I know you probably wouldn't do this, but we're talking about anything. Then you'd hit save. And then that is saved for you. So if there was pointed items in that, it would definitely reduce the points of certain things. And then you would hit track. You could track it into your day. So that recipe is now tracked. We'll go over that again. Let's pick something that has points. Oh, here we go. Fresh corn and tomatoes. I think there's something in there. Nine points. All right, we there's something in there I'm not going to like. So we're going to hit edit. And we're going to scroll down. I don't want corn because I'm on the diabetic plan. So I'm going to swipe off that corn. I'm going to remove it. And it took off two points. And I'm going to save. And there it is. And then I could track if I need to. or like, And then say... While we're in here, you just absolutely are obsessed with something like this. Like this is going to be your favorite go-to recipe. It is has all your favorite ingredients in it. You just you loved it. So you hit the little see where where it says track recipe to already to the right that little flag. That is how you, where you'd hit save, and that's where all your favorite recipes go. Let's go over one more thing. I don't want to overload you because sometimes this is confusing, but I want to go over a few of the things to deal with recipes. Back to our page, hit our little thing, back to the word recipes. <clears throat> I did mention that there is saved, there is created by. In saved is all the recipes that you hit that little flag. So you don't, after the word tomato, there's that little, that is where they live. Like you see something that, oh. I want to make that in the future or that was really good. I don't want to forget that because there's a lot of recipes in here and that's where they live. They live in here. These are all the ones that I saved either to make, wanted to make, have already made, just the ones that are absolutely that I know I'm going to want to revisit. Go under food. Now, I don't do anything for activity or posts because you can do that for posts in, which we'll talk about later in another video for the, how to do the, you know, handle connect. So back to created by. Here's where the recipes live that you've created. It's shocking that I'll have more in there than that, isn't it? A lot of them I create on paper because they're just simple. I tend, especially recently, to focus on the zero point foods and creating recipes based on those. So again, a lot of my recipes don't really require, and they're one and done. So they don't require. It's more when you have to break it up into servings. You know, how many servings do I get out of this? That's important to be in the recipe builder. But if you're making a one and done, you just put the points in on a piece of paper. It'd take you probably less than two seconds to 
figure out that recipe. So that's where the recipes that you create live. Now, here are the foods that you've created that you've scanned. Like if you ever scan a food and it says not in the database and you would put it in, that's where they live. They live right here. Meals are meals you've created. Like you can create a meal based on, you know, things that you put into that meal that you're going to have. So to me, these are absolutely more like recipes than they are meals. I just, for some reason, I stuck them here. But these are the Harvest Bowl meal that I created is all in here. So that's where they live as well. So I wanted to go over that, just to let you know, like, what those two things are really, truly important. Like I said, the carousel of recipes that Weight Watchers offers you in this app, people will say, oh, why is the app so expensive? It's literally a bazillion cookbooks in here that you can, I mean, there's just barista the co coffee drinks if you if you're a coffee person look at all the coffee drinks you can create the points are figured out for you yeah five points for a coffee drink can be pricey but if that's something that you like it's worth it it's worth it because you like it i might not think it's worth it because i think coffee's terrible so i would think five points for a drink is ridiculous but i don't like it but and that's a huge thing is know who you are. And, and if you like something, they, they've definitely tailored a lot of these things to what people are, because guess what? You're going to, you're going to, you're going to want it. You're going to drink it. So here's a definitely an easy way to figure that out. But look at this Greek yogurt, a zero point rock star. These are all recipes that have zero point Greek yogurt as the main focus. This is creamy edamame soup. Interesting. So definitely just get familiar with these recipes to a gritty dough, broccoli, celery, cream. I mean, there's just, Yogurt parfait board. What a fun little idea. And remember, you can tweak them. Just because they're in here doesn't mean you can't edit them. You definitely can. You could sit there and say, you know, I don't like this. I don't like that. And you get rid of them. I don't like them. There you go. Six points for unsweetened coconut flakes. I don't like them. So I would definitely remove those. Because it's not something I would want. And I hit save. Again, just a personal preference. You do you, boo, and this is how you tailor Weight Watchers to you and to your likes. Don't do the plan because this is how it is. You have to make Weight Watchers your plan. And that is how, especially with recipes like that, it's how you do that. But there, like I said, there is so many bevy of recipes in this. this it, you sit there and go, just pick it, pick a topic. And then you could sit there and just go through it. And, and if you find one, fajita style too, for sure. Oh my God, that sounds so amazing save it so you because let me tell you something you're going to think you're going to remember where it is or what it was you're not make life easier save it and this way you always know where it is it's go to the save you can much easier to scroll saved and find stuff than to try to remember where you saw it but also i think i'm going to end that for today because i feel like i've given you a lot of information so i don't want to well that is it for today's workshop wednesday with a mini app tutorial I went and grabbed my cup to show you that it is ready to go. I grabbed the iced tea instead. This was a multitasking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought. If you knew if I had that app tutorial helped you, like I said, we'll do a little bit each week because there's a lot on there. But let me know in the comment. If you have never commented on a video, I'd love for you to say hi. Because like I said, we love interaction. Get your, you know, get comfortable with just chit chatting. And say, hey, D, I've never commented before. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you've not yet hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D, where we are slaying our weight loss one Wednesday at a time with tips, tricks, ideas, just being ourselves. So if that is something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D. We also have a fantastic Facebook group, Dish with D's Crew. It's the community that you might need. So it's linked down below. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. We will dish another day, my lovelies. Bye-bye for now.